Time rates made easy using Casio calculator. Hi, hello. Welcome back again to our uh, YouTube channel, Gilisanya Engineering Videos. So this uh, time, I will present to you time rates, calculus. So as the title says, it will be made easy using calculator. But before I do it with calculator, I will, we will solve it first with the usual or shall we call it traditional calculation using, of course, derivatives. Huh? Okay, so we'll be using the 350EX, but you can also use here the 570 or the 991. The same, almost the same, uh, they have different uh, menu, but the same keystrokes, the same function, everything. The same ang function nila. Alright, so let's start. Okay, so here we have a problem. Water enters, uh, flows into, or it can also be flow, flowing out, no? flows into the conical tank shown at the rate of 0.25 cubic meter per second. At what rate? is the water level rising when there is 1.6 meters of water inside the tank? At what rate is the water level rising when there is 1.6 meters of water in the tank? And we have here the choices. Well, if you know this, uh, how to solve this, you can pause the video and then you can solve it and check your answer later on. Okay, so my first solution here is using calculus. All right, so we will use derivatives, no? derivative with respect to time. Now, many students had difficulty with calculus. But you know what? Uh, the problem, the way I see it, in my experience, is not calculus. It's making the function. No? Because here we will be doing the function of volume. Volume in terms of, because the question here is the rate at which the water level is rising. So you have to create a function of the volume of water in the tank in terms of the depth. That is your main goal. All right? Because your 0.35 here is your dv. That's the rate of change of volume, dv over dt. So you must be able to express that in terms of h. And that there lies the difficulty part, the difficult part. Maraming mga students na nahihirapan dyan. Hindi marunong gumawa ng function. Tapos... Sinisisi nila ang calculus. Ha? Forgive me if I say that, but this is how I look at it. Okay, so let's start using the traditional solution so that you can check. We can check our answer. Okay, so let our depth of water at any given time as H. Of course, you do not put there the 1.6 as the problem says. Huh? You do not put the 1.6. Otherwise, if you put the, uh, the 1.6 there, then wala na nang change. No? Everything becomes constant. Then... You can solve that thing. All right. So let it be H and then the radius of the water surface at any given time be R. So it will be variable. It will start from 0. R will start from 0 up to 1.2. H will start from 0 up to 3 meters. So as what I've said earlier, you have to express the volume in terms of H. Why H? Because the question is the rate at which the water surface is rising. So that will be the rate of change of H. Okay, we know that the volume of a cone is one-third base times altitude. Alright, so that will be one-third pi r squared h. Okay, so let's focus on that. So again, my, our target is express v in terms of h. So what is left for us to do now is to express r in terms of h. We have to do that. r is variable. And very obvious in our drawing, we can do that by proportion okay express r in terms of h okay so by by proportion in similar triangles all right because this is a triangle right triangle and another right triangle here then we have r is to h as 1.2 is to 3 all right r is to h as 1.2 meters is to 3 the whole uh, the tank dimension then from that, we can now have R equals 0.4 of H. So 1.2 divided by 3 is 0.4. Then we can put that, put this value here. Okay? 
So the volume now becomes one third pi and then 0.4 h squared times h. So finally, we have done our mission. We achieved the mission of expressing b in terms of h. All right. Okay, well, if you had a hard time doing that, talagang mahirapan ka with calculus. Whether it is maximum minima problem or time rates, if you don't know how to do that. Ang masama dyan, kung hindi mo alam talaga yung gagawin mo. <laughs> no? Okay. Now, so, with that, we are now ready to compute the rate because the change of uh, rate of change of the volume is the discharge here, 0.25. In this case, it is positive. Because the volume of water in the tank is increasing. If this is going out, then that change is negative. So we know that. Alright? So meaning the water level here will drop. Okay? So the rate of change of the height is also negative. Okay, so positive siya, no? So we have here our uh, first derivative with respect to time. So dv over dt is equal to. So this will be derivative of h cubed is 3h squared. So you have this. So, 16 pi over 3, 3a squared dh over dt. And by the way, this is your dv over dt. And your dh over dt, that's the rate of change of the water, the rising of the water level. That is your dh over dt. Okay. So, the question is here, what is dh over dt when h equals 1.6 meters? So, just substitute dv over dt is positive 0.25 and your h is 1.6 okay then we can now solve the value of dh over dt 0.194 meters per second and that is your answer so the answer here is letter a okay so that is uh, i just call it traditional solution but that is very basic Okay, well, uh, the difficulty here lies with the shape of the tank. If you are given a different shape, then you will have a hard time expressing, in this case, volume in terms of H. So, okay, just imagine if this is a conical, a prostom of a cone, that would be another. We will solve it after this. All right. Now, how do you do this fast without using derivatives? Okay, I will introduce you and fortunately, we can use, we can utilize the function of our, of our calculator. Okay, this is how we do it. But first, the principle muna. Let's discuss the principle. Alright, this is the basic principle. If you have any container, any container, be it a cylinder, a sphere, a pyramid, a cone, a frosob of a cone, a paraboloid, alright? So the basic function for volume rate of change is using, uh, we have used this in our hydraulics, Q equals AV. Q is the discharge. This is your dV over dt. Your A is the cross-sectional area of the water surface at any given time. And your V is the rate of change of that level. Assuming if Q is going in, then the rate of change of a rising of that water level. That is your V. That's the basic hydraulic equation. Actually, we can use this formula. The only problem here is to solve for A. So, for example, if we go back to our problem uh, kanina, yung cone, if that were only cylinder, it would have been very easy because your Q here is 0.25, your V is the one unknown, your area is the cross-sectional area of the cylinder, and it does not change. In this case, if the area varies, then that's the problem. Now, how to get the area? Okay, this is the principle. Now, most solids that we are dealing with are prismatoid. Okay, we can use the prismoidal formula. The general, prismo the general prismatoid can be expressed in this manner. What is a prismatoid? What is a general prismatoid? When can you say that a solid is a prismatoid? All right, this is the principle. A solid is a prismatoid uh, if at any point, at any reference point, uh, the area can be expressed as a function of x uh, to an exponent not greater than the third degree. So if we call y equals the area, then 
this is the definition of your area. Area can be expressed as a function of x, not more than the third. Okay? If that is linear or quadratic or cubic, this that is a prismatoid. Okay, so medyo malalim yung ating definition, but this is part of the discussion here. Now, but fortunately, most solids that we know, like cylinders, cone, even pyramids, crustum of a cone, sphere, uh, paraboloid, crustum of paraboloid, ellipsoid, etc., these are all prismatoid, no? and then the area of that is expressed as a power of x to the second degree. Ito yung maganda. Lahat lang solid na yan. Hindi ko lang naisulat yung pyramid. Kasali ang pyramid. It can, the area at any point from a reference, no, at any section from a reference point, can be expressed in terms of the distance uh, to the second degree. So what's the role of the calculator? Okay, this is the good news. Because an equation to the second degree is parabola, calculator, the Casio calculator can compute that using our statistics mode. So in other words, we will be able, we can define the area of the cross-section by just inputting three informations. Because in this equation, as you can notice, there are three arbitrary constants, A, B, C. If you know three points of your section wherein you know the area at three points, okay, then you can get the values of A, B, C. That is the principle. Take note, we need three points. All right? Our mission is to get the equation of the area. Okay, so let's go back to our cone. Now, Q equals AV. All right, this is your Q, this is your A, and your V is the rise of water, the velocity of the rise of water. And this is the 1.6. The question is, how much is the water level rises when the depth is 1.6 meters? So our mission here is to solve for A. Let us solve for A. I know that is very easy. We can solve the radius here by ratio and proportion. Actually, we can do that. I can do that, but I will not show that. Nala. Now, you, you just check the answer here. Huh? You can just say R is to 1.6 as this is to 3. You can do that. But what if this is a different solid? Then we cannot do that. Then let us use our calculator. Let us solve for A using this calculator. All right? So take note, we need three informations. That long information. Okay. So going to this solid, we can refer your X from the bottom. Okay. Let's do this. We will use our menu and then two. Menu two. Okay. So that you can imagine this is how it looks like. Okay. So, I will start with you. Menu and then two for statistics. And then you choose 3. 3. Y equals A plus BX plus CX squared. 3. Alright. Then there is the table. Okay. How to fill in the table? Okay. So menu 2 and then 3. You have this table. You need 3 informations only. Now. So what are these information? What is the X and what is that Y? So we need your X and your Y. What are those values? Okay. Now, your X, as what I have defined before, is the distance from a reference point. Let's take our reference at the bottom of the cone. Okay. We will make this as our reference. All right. Now, so Y is the area. Okay. At X equals zero, meaning at the bottom of the cone, the area is zero. So X1, zero, and area one. Okay. Another information is at x equals 3, the area is pi r squared. We know the radius. The radius is 1.2. So that's very easy. Okay, we need one more. We have to put one more because there are three variables. There are three unknowns here, A, B, C. Okay, the third can be taken anywhere. But obviously, if I were to choose, I will choose the middle. Because in the middle, common sense will tell you that the radius of this is one half, the average of 1.2 and 0. So this should be 0. 0.6. So, okay, I will just call this area 2. So when x equals 1.5, the area is pi 0. 0.6 squared, the area of the surface, of the circle. Okay, the area of the water surface. 
and uh, of the configuration circle. And the third point is at the top. You can interchange that. You can make this area 1, area 2, area 3. Area 1, area 2, area 3. Area 1, area 2, area 3. It doesn't matter. Important is you have three points. Okay. So, if you input that, okay. X0, Y0. Area is 0. When X is 1.5, this is it. When X is 1.5, the area is 5.6 squared, which will give you 1.309. And then when x is 3, area is pi times 1.2 squared or 4.5238. Okay, that's all you, the information that you need. Okay, so after that, we can now solve the area. So what is the area? To get the area, we will use regression. We are, our mission is the area. Take note, Q is known. V is the required. A is the unknown here. Unknown pa yung A natin. Okay, we will use regression. Okay, so the area, we will find the area when x equals 1.6. Take note. We want to know the area when x equals 1.6. So we, you can use regression. To do that, okay, type 1.6. Okay, I will show that to you. Okay, assuming I have inputted the table already. Okay, you first type 1.6. And then uh, option, and then uh, scroll down, click this button, and then four, regression. And then you choose six, y hat, because we will be solving the value of y. Okay, so that will be six. And then you press equals, and then you will get the answer. Of course, in this case, we don't have the answer. I don't have the table. Huh? Okay, so anyway, if, if you give an error, anyway. All right, I don't have the table there. So, 1.6 and then option, click options, and then click this button to scroll down. Uh, that will appear, regression, and then choose regression, and then choose y hat, 6. And you will get 1.28679. That is the area. If you want the area here, let's say at, at a depth of 0.5, then 0.5. 0.5 y hat. If you want the area at the top, then 3 y hat. Any part, part of the vessel, you can compute the surface area of water. Okay, so now that we have the area, so it is direct substitution now. So 0.25 equals area times V. Your V is your dH over dt already. Then we can solve the V. And that is 1.94 meters per second the same answer as before. Well, of course, at the first time that you do this, medyo mabagal ka pa, no? but if you are used to this, then napakadali. Okay, I know you will think, sir, I will now use the lang pressure proportion. Yes, you can. It is much faster for this case. But what if this is a sphere or a paraboloid? Or, Okay, let's solve another problem. This time, I will show you calculator, calculation only, using calculator. What if it is a frostum? Okay, look at this. A very similar problem. Water flows into the tank at the rate of 0.5 cubic meter per second. The tank is frozen of a cone, 1.5 meter radius on top, and 1.1 meter radius at the bottom, and the height is 4 meters. At what rate is the water level rising? when there is 3.2 meters deep of water in the tank. Okay. So imagine this, huh? Okay, you know your Q. You know your only unknown here is, is the area. If you can solve the area of that, then you can solve the velocity. That area. You need that area. If we can do that, then we can solve the velocity. No need to use the derivatives. No need. Actually, basta volume flow rate, hindi mo na kailangan. Huh? So, Q equals AB. By the way, there are other variations here. You may, give, you may be given the depth of water and the rate of change of the height, then find the discharge. You can do that. So, if you know the depth of water, then you can solve the area, you can solve the discharge. Or maybe the question is the area or the depth of water. Pwede rin. Makuha mo yung area, makukuha mo yung depth. Okay, there are this combination of questions that will uh, uh, revolve from this equation. 
Okay, so we will solve the area. Alright, sige. So again, we will need three, three information. One area is here. Bottom, I will refer your X to bottom. Uh, okay, you can also refer it at the top. So in this case, we will refer at the bottom. So at the bottom, the radius is 1.1. At the middle, what's the radius? Okay, we have middle, middle of 4. Not, never mind that 3.2 first. first. Middle of 4 is 2, and at the top, we will be needing these 3 points. So what's the radius here? Well, of course, it will be the average. The average of 1.5 and 1.1, that is 1.3. So we can use these 3 areas to find our area using our calculator. So once again, okay, I will show you. I will input this in, my, uh, in our calculator. Okay, uh, menu 2. And then 3. Alright, so when x is 0, y is uh, here. Uh, this is, okay. Pwede mapakita yung iba. Nako, I'm saying, I'm very sorry. I cannot move the calculator the calculator anymore. Oops, oops. I, 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 okay, okay, okay. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, that's good. Okay. So y is pi, it's not zero, huh? because at the bottom, the area is not zero, there is area. Pi, shift pi, times 1.1 squared. Okay, so 3.8. As you can see, okay, 3.803. Next, when x is 2, the area is 1 point, the radius is 1.3. Alright, so pi times... 1.3 squared. Alright. 5.3092. And when x is 4 at the top, okay, you may ask me, sir, there is no water there. Why should you use 4? Never mind. We are, talk, we are dealing here with the shape, not with the water. Amaya na yung water. Huh? Okay. So, geomet geometry. Dealing with the geometry of the container. 4. Alright. The area is, uh, the radius is 1.5. Okay. Pi times 1.5 pi r squared equals. Okay. So this is the table, uh, how the table will look like. All right. Okay. That's it. Correct. Okay. Now we want to solve the area when y is, when x is 1.2. So you press AC and then press you type 1.2. Then options, scroll down, regression, and then select 6, y hat, and then click it. up. sorry, sorry, not 1.2, point sorry, sorry. 3.2, point again, again, again. Uh, 3.2, point options, scroll down, regression, y hat, equals. Okay, 6.337. Okay, abangan natin. 6.33. I hope you can follow that. Alright. Yan. And then, okay. 3.2 y hat. 6.3347. Okay. Now, we have the area already. So, finally, substitute that here. Q equals A times V. Your area is 6.3347. Then, you can get now the answer. So, I will press AC. That will be stored as my ans, answer. So, 0.5 divided by answer. And you will have 0.0789. That is your answer. Alright? Did you get that? Okay. So, I hope you learned a lot from this uh, video tutorial. There are lots of uh, topics pa that will involve similar situation that I will share with you later. Huh? So, dahan-dahan lang. No? Mahina yung kalaban. Every day, we will try to add another video. Okay? So, thank you so much. I hope you learned a lot. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Uh, channel and uh, hit the bell icon so that you will be notified every time we have new videos. Thank you so much for watching.